Okay, this is John McBride speaking in Adelaide. This is the corner or the intersection of um, Kintore Avenue and North Terrace and Gawler Place. I just thought I'd quickly show you the spot where I got my dog some years ago, many years ago. See that Telstra air box there? Telephone box? Well, once upon a time, as I said many years ago, a young girl came along here, young lady, and she had a dog on a string, and it was like a stray dog. She had found it down at the Adelaide Railway Station, and uh, while I'm talking, I'll just sort of pan around a bit. She found it down at the Adelaide Railway Station, and uh, she was trying to give it to me. I uh, was reluctant to take the dog. I said, no, look, truly, my dad <laughs> won't let me keep that dog, no way. So anyway, she sort of pushed on, oh, please, please take the dog. And I did have a um, <coughs> Cadbury's fruit and nut chocolate, that's right, family block. So I gave some to the girl, and I had some myself, and I gave the rest to the dog, who was quite hungry. I didn't know if it was a boy or a girl, I had no idea, didn't know what breed it was, anything about it. So I said, okay, all right, I'll try. So. I took it with me, I brought it home in the car, and the moment I got in the car, I had a T-bar shift back in those days, and she, the dog, I didn't know if it was a boy or a girl, she put her head on my leg, sort of like, oh, you belong to me kind of thing, so I said, okay, let's go. So I brought her home, and uh, I knew Dad would hit the roof, so I quickly washed her in the garden, washed her up, and lo and behold, Dad come home, he was like really, really angry. Oh, get rid of the dog, get rid of the dog. And I said, yeah, okay, Dad, yeah, whatever you say. So with that, I uh, thought, oh, well, dog's got to go, sadly. But after a few days, she was in the garden on the back lawn, and I noticed through the back kitchen window, Dad was talking to the dog, and uh, he was feeding her and patting her. So after that, it was easy, I knew. I wouldn't have to get rid of the dog. So here it is on a glorious, it's not a summer's day, but it's like a summer's day. It's really sunny, it's spring. And after all of that winter and the cold and the bleak and the rain and what have you, it's really nice to see the sun's come back again. It's much better for photography when it's sunny. So this is the place, as I said, where I got my Samoyed Hokorta Husker. And we found out years later that she had escaped from a boarding kennel up in the Adelaide Hills and her name was Princess Creed and Natasha, and Natasha of Kobe. I found out about two years later and uh, yeah, she was white, she was a purebred Samoyed. But when I got her she was dirty, grubby, she looked like nothing. But after two years of owning her and washing her and feeding her and taking care of her, she grew up into the most beautiful, wonderful snow dog who used to come to the beach with me, swim with me, come out into the desert with me. She used to go red. Her fur was all red from the desert dust. So this is where I got my beautiful Samoyed all those years ago. Okay, this is Adelaide on a sunny day. Bye.